when the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, that's amore. Hello, Caitlin. It's midnight here. I am currently at work. My brother is sitting over under the tents where I'm supposed to be, but I kind of wandered off this way to record your video. Cars keep passing by and people are looking at me funny because I'm videotaping myself. But I don't care because it's midnight so most people are asleep. Or at home or something. So yeah, I'm not going to worry about them. But anyway, overnight security is the most boring shift you can have. Because you just have to sit here for 8 hours in the dark and do nothing and not sleep. And there's not a lot to do. I mean, it's kind of nice out. I did see a shooting star right after I got here, which was really awesome. And that made me super happy, but now I'm just really bored. And I get to stay here till 7 a.m. Or, you know, whenever people show up. Which could be after 7 a.m. Because people never show up on time for their red crew shifts. I'm super excited about your new job, by the way. I've been to the Red Tomato, and they have good food. I like it so it's a good place to work. I can sympathize with your eight hour shift. It was in fact a setting up the tennis tournament shift, which involved mostly heavy lifting. Heavy lifting, which I could not really do, so I ended up pulling all the muscles across my shoulders and up through my neck, and it's still kind of tender. Here, through the chain link fence, you can see the quartz. That's about as exciting as it gets. Over that way you can see some of Western's dorms and a parking lot. There's really not a lot here. Also, I realize this is the second video in a row that comes to you at least partly in the middle of the night. Can you tell that the light above me is flickering a lot? Because I can tell. And it's really bothering me. But there's nothing I can do about it. In case you haven't heard, there is a web series that you need to watch. It's actually run by Hank Green, so you've probably heard something about it. Uh, Lizzie Bennet Diaries. Do you watch those? If you don't, you need to because they are spectacular. Basically, they're a modern adaptation of Pride and Prejudice, which is another book I read this summer. Yeah, Hank Green is kind of a genius for coming up with that. There's a skunk running around. He's kind of cute. It's almost 6 a.m., which means that it's almost 7, and at 7 our shift ends. So I'm pretty excited about that. It's been kind of a long night. You can tell how strict it is with the security and whatnot. Very dangerous work. I'm, I'm in fear of my life right now, guarding this area. It's so dangerous. <laughs> it's early. There have been a lot of people driving around ever since like three or four. I can only assume that they are going to work because none of them were hanging around. Can you tell I've been up all night? I feel like you can tell because I'm tired and I look tired and I sound tired and I'm just saying nonsense, which is what happens when I pull all-nighters. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to go. I will see you on Monday. Goodbye.